Now let's take a look at another alternative to do column level encryption. Um, this alternative is database dependent because when we do column inverse conversion, we gonna do we gonna be using um, an encryption or decryption function um, that is specific to the DBMS we use, and and this section is optional, uh, meaning you if you um, we, we are going to be using MySQL. If you already have SQL server installed, please follow it so you know understand it. But um, if not, you can just listen through it. Um, so in this option, we're going to encrypt data using um, an annotation called column transformer. So um, this syntax uh, will, be, will change according to the DBMS use. Um, here we're gonna be doing my SQL, and then I'm gonna show um, um, another function for Postgres, and you can see the difference. For my SQL, uh, SQL my SQL provide function AES encrypt and AES decrypt to encrypt and decrypt column, and again um, to decrypt and encrypt, you have to specify key. Here uh, we're gonna be uh, we 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 we're gonna be um, testing uh, or trying with um, the the key I I provide here. But um, again, to uh, make sure your program secure, this key has to be managed by like uh, key management or specify in um, an environment variables. Uh, and so what we are gonna be doing is that for um, an entity class like user or book, you're going to be adding a column transformer. And um, in the column transformer here, you have to specify that when you read from database, what do you do? When you write from database, what do you do? So let's take a look at the writing first because it's simpler. So uh, when we write to the database, uh, before writing to the database, uh, using like the insert, um, or, or update um, SQL function, we have to encrypt data first and using AES encrypt, encrypt function. Here you specify that for this data, you want to encrypt it and you use the key. And um, to use the key, we have to um, use a function, function called unhex to um, like um, change it from the hexadecimal number to you know uh, to 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 other format, and when we do encryption, um, the result of the encryption is actually not string. It's a, a var binary. It's a var binary. So uh, we also have to have a column annotation specify like a variable called column definition it this will tell uh, my sql to specify the type of this column to be var binary with the size that we specify here so for the var binary meaning is is uh, like a string that is saved in a binary form right because the encryption will be um will output as a var binary, not a string. So you have to, you know, uh, specify the column type to be var um, binary. Uh, with that, when you read from database, when you read from database, right? Uh, so when you, you, you want to read from um, the username column with the specified key, and then you want to decrypt it. Once you decrypt, um, it's going to be in a var binary form. You want to cast it back to a string. A string in um, my SQL is um, car, and then you specify the, the the size. So here, this is what we are go, go, going to add to our entity. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so um, um, again, we're gonna be adding this to. Um, uh, the column username and name. So let's do that. 
Uh, actually, you can start off with um, fresh um, uh, repo, but um, actually, it, I, actually I, I think it's best to do that. So let me kill it and then um, so that you don't have to delete it. You can just keep this version. So let, let me um, do it again. So let me download it. So I'm going to be using this. Let me uh, copy it to the place I want it to. So this is the second alternative. So let's open it. So now we start fresh with the um, book application. So now our entity will look just like um, entity without any encryption. So here just simple entity. So what we are going to be doing is that we're going to be adding um, the column transformer to our column that we want to, to encrypt. Right. So here we have to import it. So import. Okay. And um, now you understand uh, what I mean about um, these two annotation. So let's do it again. So it's actually the same. So you can actually uh, uh, you have to make sure that this one has to be changed. If you um, um, uh, with the name, you have to change it to name as well. Yeah, I already this one. I already have it a name. If you want to do that with a um, book, you can do that as well. Let's say um, I do name and author. So you import it. Now it's you know the same and let's do it for author as well. Here has to be author, change it to author. And um, that's it, it's done. Um, it's actually simpler. Um, and then um, here we're going to be using MySQL. So uh, make sure you add MySQL um, dependency to your POM file. Since I started fresh, I will have to redo um, this. So let's find H2. Okay, I'm just going to add it afterward. And then um, reload your application, your POM file. And then um, you have to change the setting here, um, the JDBC. Uh, you have to use my SQL. So I go to um, application.property and uh, for the URL, you use this, and for the driver, root, and my password is a b c d one two three four, and then you have to change um, the dialog to from H two to my SQL eight. Okay, so now um, our application is ready, and um, here if you haven't done so, uh, please download the MySQL server and then start it. Let me check if my um, is started. My is already on, and then um, download the um, DBMS tool, uh, either Workbench or DBWare. I used um, my SQL Workbench uh, to. Let's see if okay, my is there. Let me open it again. So now um, I'm just going to connect to it. And since I already have it, I'm just going to delete it for now. And then I will recreate the, um, the schema. So here when I create the schema, since I don't need the database level encryption, I'm going to keep the def before create without the setting, uh, the encryption to be yes. So um, let's create the database here book apply and leave it like that apply okay now um, it's ready 
to run. Okay, now um, let's run an application, sign up an ad book, and, and then you can um, query to see whether um, the data is encrypted or not. Here, since it will be saved as var binary, you're gonna see um, in a blob form, it's gonna be like blob. You're, gonna, you're not gonna see uh, the data in there. Okay, so now let's try to run our application. Now the application um, starts successfully. Now let's try to um, log in. So I'm going to sign up and log in. Oh, there's an error. So let's take a look a bit. Okay, I forgot to change the key for um, the function. So let's go back to um, this uh, key. So let's um, so specify the key that we need here. So um, now I'm gonna be using the key um, here. So just copy this key, um, uh, this one like this, and you, you keep the single quote here as well. Okay, let's try this for now. Okay, let's try again. Okay, now I can log in and let's, let's add some books. Ah, okay, now let's take a look at the database. So now um, let's go to query and um, the same. Let's go to um, use book and then let's select everything from um, user. Here you can say that um, username and name is a blob, so you don't know what it is because it's saved as a var binary. So you know it's safer because it's it's binary data. You don't know what they are. And um, let's look at the book um, as well. No, the the author and the name we encrypt it, so um, it's it, it's a blob of data. So you don't know what they are. So it's safe. So here we have done um, the column level um, in the second alternative with uh, using DBMS function. So it's DBMS dependent, but the code is simpler, kinda simpler. Um, uh, let's, let's take a look at if we are using um, PostgreSQL, uh, what we are gonna do in column transformer, we're gonna be using the encrypt and decrypt um, from Postgres. Here is a little simpler with the um, PGP sim encrypt and decrypt. Right. Um, so hopefully uh, this one uh, will, this lab will help you understand um, the database encryption and decryption. So, and this is for Java Spring Boot. Um, um, for the column level, it's specific to the framework 
um, development framework that you use, right? If you use JavaScript, if you use React, if you use Vue, um, or if you, you use MongoDB, the encryption at the column level will be different. But if you use schema level and table level, um, uh, it will be the same. Um, whether you use any framework because it's encrypted at the database level, but it's not um, quite safe. Um, if you don't want um, database administrator to, to see the data. So this one is up to um, each project, uh, whether which method is appropriate. So it's up to you um, as a developer um, to choose the, um, the one that you think is appropriate.